Welcome back, my fellow artists. I'm Elizabeth from SBS Redondo Beach, and I want to show hands who's ready to paint. I know I am. These are the materials you will need. Five different colors of paint. I've chosen red, orange, yellow, green, and blue. Five forks for each of your paints. One paper plate, one paintbrush, and one canvas. Step one, you want to make sure you cover your area. I'm going to be using craft paper, but you can use anything you want, like paper towels, paper, napkins. What do you think you'll be using? Next, you're going to want to grab your paints. I have orange, red, and yellow because these are going to be my flowers. And you're going to carefully grab them and pour them separated across your plate, like so. We want to make sure there's enough space because we're going to be using our forks in just a sec. Step two, once I have my, my paint spread out like so, I'm gonna grab my fork and I'm gonna dip it onto the paint, just like this. Once it's fully dipped, I'm gonna press it on my canvas, like so. It's okay if it's not perfect, we don't want it to be perfect, we just want it to be spread out because these are gonna be your flowers. Pressing and you want to experiment with color. I put the orange one now. Let me put a yellow Like so just move it around and Cover your canvas with it, but make sure they're spread out Step three once my canvas is covered with my fork flowers. I'm gonna grab my paintbrush grab my blue paint and Dip some in there now. We're gonna be creating our vase so what you want to do first is draw the bottom part of a smiley face, just like this. All right, then you're going to want to use your paintbrush to go in on both sides. We're doing a vase and don't worry, we're going to get these other spots in a little bit. Once you go in, go out. Draw a line going out. And we want our vase to look very unique. So don't worry, get creative. There is no accidents here. We're just going with our paint. Just like so. Step four, I'm gonna be filling in the bottom part of my fork. So what you wanna do is grab your paintbrush and don't use any more additional paint. Just use what you already have. So make like another smiley face, just like so. Connecting the two ends of the fork, just to give it a more fork-like appearance. And I grabbed a napkin just so I can easily wipe away my paint from my brush so that I can connect all of my fork flowers, just like so. Step five, can anybody guess something that's missing from my painting? Take a guess. What's missing? Ding, 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 some stems. So we're gonna grab our paintbrush, dip it into some green paint, just like this, and we're gonna create a stem. So all you have to do is draw a line going into your vase, just like this. And you wanna do this with all of your fork flowers, just connecting it down to give it a more flower-like appearance. Don't forget all of them, okay? Just like this. Time for our last step, artists. So go ahead and grab your paintbrush again, dip it into your blue paint because now it's time for us to fill in this vase. So dip it and then just start filling it in. Try and stay within the lines. And this is the perfect time for you if you maybe want to fix up a side, making, making it a little bit more even, it's up to you. So I'm just going to fill in this whole vase, okay? All right, my fellow artists, make sure you give your painting enough time to dry before you display it somewhere. And this just goes to show that you can use any household item like forks to create a masterpiece. I challenge you to recreate this at home and let me know how it turns out for you. Until next time.